Most of the European nations became so wealthy thanks to the riches they collected from America, Asia, and Africa during their colonial administrations. But through this video, we are going to talk about a European nation which was developed somewhat different to this ordinary path. This nation was developed centering around a one wealthy family. So this is the story of the Wallenberg family which dragged Sweden to the top level that we see today. Wallenberg is considered as the most powerful business dynasty in Europe, spreading its power over several economic sectors. In the 1970s, the Wallenberg family business was responsible for employing more than 40% of Sweden's industrial workforce, and it represented more than 40% of the total worth of the Stockholm Stock Exchange as well. I feel now you have a general idea about the power of the Wallenberg business family. Normally, wealthy people live and die, and it is a rarer case to spread that wealth as a dynasty. Sweden is a Nordic country located on the Scandinavian peninsula in Northern Europe. With a total population of around 10.5 million, Sweden is the 12th richest country in the world in terms of GDP per capita, and a high standard of living is experienced by its citizens thanks to the strong economy that it possesses. It maintains its own currency known as the krona as the acceptance of the euro was rejected by a referendum. Swedish central bank, Riksbank, which was established in 1668, is considered as the oldest central bank in history, and it is some kind of proof of the strength of its economy. Wallenberg family is composed of bankers, industrialists, politicians, bureaucrats, diplomats, and military officials, spreading their power over each sector of the Swedish economy. The main company that belongs to the Wallenberg family is called as Wallenberg Spheres Holdings, and it is currently employing more than 1 million people. Its annual sale accounts for around $154 billion per year, and the Wallenberg Empire consists of 16 Wallenberg Foundations, Foundation Asset Management AB, Investor AB, Patricia Industries, and Wallenberg Investments AB. According to a report published in 2023, Wallenberg Sphere comprises roughly around 360 companies, owning more than one-third of Sweden's entire stock exchange. According to the Financial Times, Wallenberg possesses a net worth of around $278 billion. Even though Wallenberg Sphere started as a Sweden-based company, now it has investments all around the globe, acquiring the ownership of world-famous brands which supply services and goods. One of the world's leading telecommunication brand Ericsson, Europe's largest aerospace and arms manufacturer Saab, Scandinavian airliner SAS, cutting tool manufacturer Husqvarna, giant mining company Epiroc, automobile manufacturers like Scania AB, Saab Automobile, and Alpha Laval, pharmaceutical brand AstraZeneca, ball bearing brand SKF, electric appliance brand Electrolux, world's largest power, automation and robotics multinationals ABB, Scandinavian and Baltic bank giant Skandinaviska and Skilda Banken are some world famous brands that belong to this conglomerate. But these are just only a few brands under its ownership to explain the market value of the Wallenberg sphere. Wallenberg is not focusing just only on business activities, and it plays a vital role in the enhancement of the science and technology sector, which is very important for the well-being of the entire humankind. From their annual income, the Wallenberg sphere allocated $2 billion for research activities through the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation. This is considered as one of the largest research foundations in Europe under private ownership. According to a report published in 2020, Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation has awarded more than 31.2 billion in grants. The earliest known member of the Wallenberg family is Par Hansen, who was a farmer and lived during the period between 1670 and 1741. He had a farm which is known as Herseberga Farm in Ostergotland region. He married a woman called Kirsten Jacob's daughter Shoot, and this couple had three sons. One was called Anders Hertzmann, and he was the progenitor of the Hertzmann family. The other two sons, Jacob and Hans, adopted the name Wahlberg. Jacob Wahlberg married twice, and the children from the second marriage adopted the surname Wallenberg. The eldest son of that marriage was a lecturer of theology, Marcus Wallenberg. His younger brother was Jacob Wallenberg, who was a naval chaplain of the Swedish East India Company. That is the generation which first used the world-famous surname Wallenberg. His son was called by the same name Marcus Wallenberg Jr., and all of them were well-educated academics which laid the foundations for his sons and grandsons to build a business empire centuries later. Marcus Wallenberg Jr.'s son, 
Andre Oscar Wallenberg, was the first one to move towards the business sector by establishing a bank and was officially considered as the first generation of Wallenberg business dynasty. Andre Oscar was a naval officer by profession, but he retired at the age of 30 to spend more time on his investments. The idea of establishing a bank came to his mind for the first time in 1837 when he stayed in the United States. 19 years later, he turned his dream into a reality by establishing a bank called Stockholm's and Skilda Bank. He built a well-connected international contact network, which later became important to the success of his company. Andre Oscar invested the profit that he got from the banking industry, several railway companies, shipping companies, and breweries. The second generation of the Wallenberg dynasty was Andre Oscar's son, Knut Agathon, and Marcus Wallenberg. Knut had an inborn entrepreneurial talent and was a skilled investor in the international capital markets. So, Knut Agarthen carefully invested his wealth in different sectors, generating a heavy profit. Knut Agathon was involved not only in business activities but also in political and social activities as well. He used his knowledge and wealth to develop the Sweden's capital, Stockholm, through the introduction of various new projects. He donated a large sum of money to the development of the education system of Sweden, and later it became a key factor behind the rapid development of Sweden. After Knut Agathon, his younger brother Marcus Wallenberg took the leadership of the company establishing several company networks all over Europe. The third generation of the Wallenberg family was represented by Marcus Wallenberg Sr.'s sons, Jacob Wallenberg and Marcus Wallenberg Jr. This third generation has the most difficult period of the company as they had to protect the company from two world wars. During Jacob's era, he established the companies like SKF, Norsk Hydro, and Stockholm Superphosphat Fabrics AB. Marcus established a network of companies that supplied goods and services to Nazi Germany and was able to generate a huge income through their business deals with Adolf Hitler. But after World War II, U.S. authorities imposed a blockade to the Wallenberg companies, and it was only lifted in 1947 after the Haven negotiations in Washington, D.C. In 1950, Jacob's brother, Marcus Wallenberg, took the duties related to the industrial sector of the company, becoming the king of industry. He was a very active figure related to the industrial investments that happened in the 20th century, and laid the foundation for the Swedish industrial miracle as well. His investments were in a range of industrial sectors like civil aviation, military aviation, nuclear power, telecommunication, computer industry, forestry, banking sector, and the steel industry. Marcus Wallenberg became the president of 33 company boards and an ordinary member of 31 boards. He supported for the advancement of science and technology through his investments, and Wallenberg's sphere was able to generate huge income through those investments. The fourth generation of the Wallenberg sphere was Marcus's sons, Mark and Peter Wallenberg. During their period, Wallenberg's business went through some internal disputes which resulted in the decline of the company as well. However, they were able to manage their company successfully all through this crisis, and were able to extend their investments further by establishing new companies as well as by acquiring the ownership of existing companies. The business was handed over to the fifth generation in 2006. Marcus Wallenberg, son of Mark Wallenberg, Jacob Wallenberg, and Peter Wallenberg Jr. sons of Peter Wallenberg Sr. represent the fifth generation of the company. Wallenberg Sphere has investments globally and everywhere, and now they are managing these things to maximize their income. When considering the entire dynasty, the third generation is the most influential factor for the development of the Wallenberg sphere to the present status that we see today. Now, it has investments in everywhere globally and has the power to affect the political and economic affairs of a lot of countries.